Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna build a home for the Northern Lion. You may be a bit confused why I built a home for the Northern Lion and not the Asiatic Lion since we are in future life Asia. But the thing is that the mod for the Asiatic Lion there haven't even been updated since the 1.7 update and therefore probably would crash my game really hard if I tried using it. However, that doesn't mean that the Northern Lion is just a substitute here in Future Life Asia since they do actually live in India and India is, as known, a part of Asia so therefore it all works in well together. Originally, the Northern Lion didn't even have a spot on the IUCN red list but their cat classification task force did in 2017 split up different groups of lion uh, to the P.I. Liu and the P.I. Milanochica, I think it's called. Within the P.I. Liu, uh, we have three lion subspecies that together uh, have a spot on the red list. This would be the Asiatic Lion, the Northern Lion and the West African Lion. The Northern Lion have been split up in multiple groups for a long time. Not because there's difference between the lions, they are genetically the same lions, therefore uh, in the same, under the same subspecies of lion. But the issue is that they have a big fragmentation in the population meaning that they are a long way from group to group. For instance, there are only one population left in Asia, which is at this point are located in India, more specifically around the Gia National Park. And at this point, the Northern Lion is already extinct from North Africa, Southern Europe and West Africa. And yeah, the Northern Lion also used to live in Europe. And the Northern Lion is not the only lion who shares this spot on the IUCN red list. Since the Asiatic Lion is pretty rare at this point and the West African Lion are so isolated in fewer uh, groups or clans or what we're gonna call them. So even though they do thrive within their group but they need new plot from other clans uh, and there's just a long way over to them so therefore they don't really mix that blood anymore. At this point the numbers of the West African line is fewer than 250 mature individuals which leave all of these three lions together on the same spot as critical endangered animals. Now to go back to the northern lion since it is the one we work with today, uh, they do live in a lot of places to be honest. They, this include Benin, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Congo, Ethiopia, Gabon, Guinea-Bissau, India, Kenya, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, South Sudan and Sudan. And this is a lot of places to be honest. But the thing is again, it's so small groups in every single country. And even if a country have more than one or two groups, then they live for a part. So again, we need the groups to meet each other to really thrive and reproduce together. But since it still lives in India, it also share its home with the Asiatic Lion, which actually are the lion with the most individuals at this point, with a population size of 350. And while we do speak about the Asiatic Lion, the funny thing about the Northern Lion actually is that even though the Northern Lions in India and those of Africa have the same genes, they actually don't have the exact same appearance. 
where the Indian version of the Northern Line are more intertwined with the Asiatic Line according to looks uh, and how they present themselves, where the African version of the Northern Line appears more like the Western Line. This clearly showed the difference in genetic versus nurture or nature versus nurture i think it's called uh, where you can clearly see at that some of their looks comes from their genetic but a big part of it is also where they grew up keeping in mind that the groups of lions here have been isolated from each other for generations and generations and generations which have allowed them to develop in different ways it's not like you can take a baby lion from africa dump it in india and then it would look like the indian version of the northern lion it will have to have the same blood from the indian version of the northern lion to get that appearance and will we talk about appearance let's just talk about what pulls the asiatic lion away from the west african lion which again the northern lion are split in between one clear difference is of course that the asiatic lion is smaller than the Af west african lion uh, not way smaller it's not a kitty cat at all but it is a little bit smaller it also has tassels at the end of their tail uh, as well as bunches of hair on their elbows which some african lions also have but it's clearly longer and a lot more hairy on the asiatic lion the bellies of the Asiatic lion have these folds of basically skin that just dangle loose. A thing we actually can see with a lot of house cats, mine included. The mane of the male Asiatic lion is also shorter and therefore their ears are way easier to see. And I want to clarify that it doesn't mean that the ears are bigger or longer, it's just because they're mean or shorter. One thing many people actually think when they think about lions are the big family group. However, the African lions almost always have group sizes around four or six female adult individuals. This isn't their choice, but it's because of their low numbers. However, even though that is low numbers, and keep in mind there can be individual groups with a lot more in Africa, up to 30 some places, but that's places that are very lucky to have such a thriving population of lions. But as the Attic lions normally only have up to two adult females, Whereas the biggest group ever recorded of Asiatic Lion had five individuals, uh, female adult individuals, which give way smaller uh, numbers, but more females for each male. Once again, keeping in mind that the group number of a lion pride are based on a lot of things. Again, how reproductive active they are sorry that was the wrong way to put that but you know what i mean um, but also facts such as uh, is there food for everyone because they, if there isn't food for anyone uh, then the pride won't survive therefore it can't be the male's job to uh, pay, basically push out individuals he will normally start with the older male cops but he can also have to get rid of something else because no one's taking his dinner and sometimes of course lion cops and females will not survive basically because they eat in a certain way where the male gets first pick even though it's the females that hunt the males get first pick and then the lioness and the uh, high-standing lionesses 
and the high standing cups and then the rest gets what's left and if there aren't enough food for everyone then those who always eat last don't get any food so move on or uh, basically starve as you know sometimes i hit animals that hits me harder than other animals and lions are specifically one of my favorite uh, animals that always have been close to my heart therefore i hit up the worldwide internet and i found someone who actually do work to help the lion population in Gia forest national park in india these are listed as the Asiatic lion, but once again, they live pretty closely, so I assume they actually help all lions in Asia in Deer National Park. So I found the Zoological Society of London where you can go, you can go and donate, you can go and volunteer, or you can go and visit some of their zoos. Uh, in London, for instance, um, to help and support the different projects they do. They do have a lot of different projects in here that you can go for if you want to. But uh, donations, I assume, are for all of it. So you can't specifically choose where your money goes. But you will, no matter what, help animals and that's the important thing here so i left the link below again no pressure to actually use it uh, i don't assume that everyone should use it but it's there if you want or also if you just want to look at what is actually being done there's a pretty little site where you also can go and read for it again i also have the links i have used to tell you about the attic line and the northern line and you can find it all in the description below.
Okay guys, it seems like we're here and I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, I want to remember you that I have a few different uh, playlists on my channel. If you want to see uh, mod videos, I both have a playlist for the animals and the mod, uh, sorry, the private mods, uh, which I keep in two different playlists. So if you want to watch that, that's there. Then I also have a playlist for my previous um, live streams and i really hope you also want to join into one or two of them live please feel free to join in with the conversation and then of course i got have a playlist for future life asia soon don't we will have to in future life asia because as you can see on the frames per minute here there um it's a little jankiness around it and uh, my computer are basically gonna give up at some point so we're gonna uh, finish off kitty cat uh, house here and then we're gonna take the outside of where we have the seals and the gharials and the chinese alligator we have something to put over there but then we're gonna end this um zoo then we are going to make a new zoo of course and that playlist will also be up then um, but I'm playing a, a bit around with names for the new zoo. The new zoo are gonna be a normal zoo. I love making these future life projects, but I don't want to make them back to back. I want to do something new. So I want a zoo where I can put animals in from all types. All types of animals for all parts of the world. So if you have a name idea, please write it in the comment section below because I... I'm not that creative in names and I I want something good. So, so a name for Sue where you hear this name and you want to visit it, that would be so uh, good if you would help me with that. Uh, um, for the rest now, uh, you know the drill, like, subscribe and turn on with the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again either in the comment section below or in the next video. Bye guys!